Cool. And we're back. Uh, so, last episode, we killed Kupka. Finally. Big-ass fight. Super long. All that stuff. Then, uh, the kingdom of Walud, you know, the Odin dominant guy, he's up to something and knows about Ultima and has more information on what the hell Clive is than, than we do. Also, uh, the Bahamut dominant is essentially gonna betray Sam Breck and his meeting with Joshua, and he happens to also be gay, which means nothing, but whatever. I'm assuming that factors in the story at some point. Clive, you're back. I am. And with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupka is no more. Well, I'll be. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's... It's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto. Any uh, word on the royalist movement since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> if you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. Cloud does a recap better than I do. Ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. <laughs> well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Waluda's. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in Storm before. The Waluda's must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? Story time again. The kingdom of Walud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin, the Canvarian War of Independence in 849, the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, the Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Walud standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot?
In summary, I know not to what end the Royalist betrayed Kupka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. So this is my thing now. Spread the word. And tell people that I killed Kupka. You barely sat down since you came on. Vivian got you running errands or something. Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do... Be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. I can't remember the last time she visited the old Salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. All right, Clive? What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal... <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind, and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I were hoping you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts making. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here. That channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shielding around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor, then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. I can't make it not tell of them. 
Luckily, you don't need to. You know, when I go into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way! Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is gonna require some precision wallabing. <laughs> Finished. It's finally finished. Fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines, and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean. <laughs> Don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? Hey? What's the matter? Nothing. Just... daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the Blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst, and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail aboard her by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that you're... Little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. All right. Now we finished all the side missions and all of the bullshit. We should be able to talk to Otto and continue the regular mission. Astrid, we'd finish sending half the hideaway tropes in across the twins, Astrid. I swear, that girl'd do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She did, yes. Clive, were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her.
this guy. Obelith, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat, going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry and all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Obelith. Don't mention it. What tidings, Uncle? Troubling Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in and all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure I'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Okay. Let's go to the grave, then go see Mid. Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Kuka is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If it had been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. Slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies.
It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it was never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Goots. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Bocklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants oh. Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things, and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Did you see that, Sid? Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. Yep. Well, that's a good place to go ahead and stop. And make for booklad. Whatever booklad is. Let's make for there. Yes. He cracked the crystal too. You're joking. These games are in ridiculously too long. I've been playing this for two hours. 
and I've barely accomplished anything. That's how an RPG be sometimes. Am I getting old, Pooh Bear? There's the one weird science. Okay, this is what gets me the thing so I can kill the thing. I'm heated if I have if I can't do the thing. I'm heated. The thing that I need for the weapon that I need, I can't do because I didn't talk to this imbecile beforehand. Croc Sandbrack. Ay, ay, ay. I want to do it so I can get the damn sword. <laughs> 